nahihirapan ka ba kung paano makuha ang midpoint between two coordinates or between two points? Tamang tama. Dahil ipapakita ko sa video ito kung paano makukuha ang midpoint between two coordinates or points sa pamamagitan ng graphing at solving algebraically using the midpoint formula. Let's start to learn the midpoint between two coordinates or points using the midpoint formula. Let's start! Ang topic natin ay midpoint between two coordinates or points. Consider this illustration. So meron tayo rito point A in red, then point B in red also. So, mapapansin nyo meron tayong point C rito in blue. So ibig sabihin, itong point C na to ay ang ating midpoint between points A and B. Therefore, yung distance from A to C natin ay magkapareho sa distance ng B to C. Halimbawa, yung distance dito sa A to C ay 10 or 10 cm. So therefore, yung distance from B to C ay 10 cm din. Itong idea na ito ay magagamit natin sa lesson natin ng midpoint. So tignan natin itong example na ito. Find the coordinates of the midpoint of A, negative 4, negative 6, and B, 2, 2. So ang gagawin natin dito, i-plot muna natin itong dalawang coordinates na to sa Cartesian plane. Punahin natin ang point A, which is negative 4, negative 6. So negative 4, and the other one is negative 6. So dito. So point A dito. And the other one is point B, meron tayong 2, 2. So 2, and the other one is 2. So point B is here, then connect the two points. So ito. So ito na yung graph ng ating dalawang coordinates. Para makuha natin yung midpoint, isa-isahin natin muna ito. So itong negative 4 ay ang ating x sub 1. Ito naman ay y sub 1. Then x sub 2 and y sub 2. Then ito ang ating midpoint formula. Midpoint is equal to x sub 1 plus x sub 2 all over 2. y sub 1 plus y sub 2 all over 2. Para makuha natin yung midpoint, isa-substitute lang natin yung mga given values sa ating dalawang coordinates. So, x sub 1 is negative 4. x sub 2 is 2. Then, y sub 1 is negative 6. y sub 2 is 2. Then, add negative 4 and 2, that is negative 2. Negative 6 plus 2, and that is negative 4. Then, divide negative 2 and 2, that is equal to negative 1. Negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. Therefore, the coordinates of the midpoint of segment AB, this one, are negative 1, negative 2. So, pag titignan natin yung coordinates of the midpoint sa Cartesian plane, kukunin lang natin yung negative 1, negative 2. So, negative 1, saka negative 2. So, dito ang ating midpoint na negative 1, negative Let's have another example. Find the coordinates of the midpoint of the following. Number 1, negative 12, negative 10, and 6, 2. So, itong negative 12 na to ay ang ating x sub 1. This is y sub 1, x sub 2, and y sub 2. Then, gamitin natin ang ating midpoint formula. Then, substitute yung mga given values. Ang ating x sub 1 ay negative 12. Ang ating x sub 2 ay 6 y sub 1 is negative 10, and y sub 2 is 2. Then add negative 12 and 6, and that is equal to negative 6. Negative 10 plus 2 is equal to negative 8. Then divide natin ito. Negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3. Negative 8 divided by 2 is negative 4. Then therefore, the coordinates of the midpoint are negative 3, negative 4. Next example, 24, negative 8, and negative 15, negative 4. This is x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, and y sub 2. Then substitute natin yung mga given values sa ating formula. So ang ating x sub 1 ay 24, x sub 2, negative 15, y sub 1 is negative 8, and y sub 2 is negative 4. Then add 24 and negative 15, that is equal to 9, negative 8 plus negative 4, and that is equal to negative 12. The midpoint is 9 over 2, negative 6. So this is the coordinates of the midpoint. Or, we can express this as 4.5, negative 6. Sana nakatulong ang video ito 
para mas lalo nyo pang maintindihan ang midpoint between two coordinates or between two points. Natuto ka ba? Ikaw. Nag-enjoy ka rin ba? I-like, share, and subscribe na! Hanggang sa susunod, mga katuto! Bye! Bye.